I've been working on uh, lesson plans for days now. And we'll see if that thing pans out. In which case I may have to take another break. Because we got to make money here. But uh, in the meantime, I found this really cool image. And I want to model this part. I want to see what this is going to look like in 3D. Okay? So I'm going to make a start tonight. And when I say tonight, I mean 2.30 in the morning. Graveyard shift. Let's do this. Make some kind of a room here. Blender 2.8. Let's get rid of everything. Let's look from the top. And let's bring in a circle. Of, um, I don't know, probably... Uh, Let's go for 22. I don't know why, just because. Get out of here. And um, we are going to box select that and delete those. Take those two points as well. See what it does. So it's going to come out just a little bit. Let's make sure I got this guy on. Let's uh, E and uh, scale in the Y. Well, just a little bit like that. And then it comes back in. I want too wide because the ladder's got to fit there. So we'll extrude. It'll come like that. Okay, so further than that. Something like that, maybe. E and SY. And come out to start making the walls, right? Come out an even amount. And I don't know how much we're just going to do it. Like, let's say that much. Okay, and then this wall is going to angle, so let's just do that. Not a particular angle, just anything. And G will come out like that. And then you're going to go off in the distance to do that. You're going to come out, we came out the same amount, and then you're going to, I guess you're going to angle too. Maybe I should have done them both at the same time. It doesn't matter that much. And then you're going to come out, and you'll do some stuff. Maybe I end you there, I don't know. We could try that. Alright, let's start with that. Let's extrude it up. I feel like this is too big compared to the size of the walls. But on the other hand, maybe it's about half the size or even a bit more. So we're going to go with that. Okay, so with that done, let's try Solidify, our friend Solidify. Let's put on even thickness and let's just pull this thing out. Now, let me think about this end here, down. Let's go back in. Take these two points. We have to do that separately. I'm not sure. It's been a while. Can I just uh, do this? assume it comes out almost the same. We'll just bring it to there. And then I'll come out like this. <clears throat> Alright, so I got that. Right? My shade smooth now. Okay, so that's going to happen there. Uh, what I'll probably do is we'll try edge split. 
but I want to um, I want to bevel these and that's gonna that's gonna be ugly let's wait before we do anything crazy let's just leave those on there and let's come back in here and uh, let's do a quick uh, what cylinder Eighteen, nothing. Make it small. Where does it fit? It fits in there. I think I. I feel like I need more room in there. near the top right near the top and if I put you over here and just mirror you across centered yeah okay let's close you off oh, did I want to do it that way yeah maybe Take this and rotate X90. We'll get rid of the mirror. I was kind of an ugly way doing it, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Pull you in. Oh, do you have any faces on there? Just don't want to add a face, I think. Hey? What seems to be going on here. Make sure I'm in median point. Yeah. Everything's okay. Everything is alright. It's been a few days, so I'm rusty. Let's make sure I apply rotation and scale in case I need it to. 
Let's put an array in the Z. This just seems like such a wide ladder. That's what bothers me. It is pretty wide. It just seems too wide to me. and figure out something to do with that stuff later. We got these little posts with like little lights or something. What if I just set those up for the moment? I'll start with a circle. I'll go with 22 vertices, I don't care. is a good way of doing it but this is the way I'm gonna do it scale X no not that scale X zero He's got one, two, three, four, right? What if I did this, a okay, four? And then what if I took these? Oh, I probably should have gotten rid of the box. Come on. Bevel, but with nothing. Isolate that guy. Shift H. Hmm. Ah, that was ugly. That could be okay though. Let's see what happens. No, I don't want to use edge split on that. I know I should use um, mean crease more, and I will someday. And I'll put my lights in there. Let's try it. Let's do this.
fitted there and the top too. Could uh, use snap to edge and snap it to like there, like the out outside one, and this I could snap to here, and this well, what would I do? I snap to somewhere back there, maybe. That's okay for now. Um. Let's just put one down the middle and there, here, 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 and here, and start with this area. set and then I'm gonna I'm gonna inset again and use loop tools to turn that into a circle just want to see how big I want that hole I want it pretty big so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna inset one more time and uh, I'm gonna delete those faces and then I'm gonna um, I'm just going to extrude this down for now. now this is going to have a subdivision surface, so I'm going to make that sharp there or whatever. I'll go. Now the snapping may have come off. Well, that's fine. Let's take everything though and just bring it up a tiny bit. Um, an edge loop up to do that so that will be my hole in there starting to think maybe I would want this to extend out Give a bit more floor space to the size of the hole. So what are we going to do? Let's build the blue part here. About to the ceiling. And you're going to have to be closed off because it's going to show through here. And I'll put that glow on for buttons like I did in the med kit. Just whatever. I don't even know if I needed that part of it. So if you're there, and then if I come in and I take one of you rings here, please, 
I'm gonna break you out. loops in order to take a subdivision surface. So just one is going to be fine. Can I get away with one? Something like that. I'm having trouble seeing what the heck they do. So, I wonder if I can take you. I don't know. Be able to use that again for this. I just want to do some work on this. There's so many polys. Okay. Let's get rid of that first of all, and let's scale you out, sharpen you up, and um, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna grab these. Before I do that, I'm gonna come out a bit more. That's what I wanted. Then I'll take you and I'll sharpen you up. Okay. Now, if I take this guy and I copy him down, this is where those legs are gonna attach, and I want it to come out wider. Just go plus plus. No, let's not do that. Let's do that. What am I doing? And that's what I'm looking for, kind of. That's okay. I'll teach now. To bring bottom one is very similar. I'll just extend it down. And let's focus on that guy. I'll come up one more and I'll just do this kind of thing but bring that down. 
Would that be okay? Can I, I mean, can I get away with that? Is that in the hole? Let's assume that's in the hole. Mm. I, th yeah, I feel like this whole thing is just too big, and that's probably what's uh, throwing me off a little bit. Scale shift Z. That's a little better. Okay. Now, what I would then do is I would come back into you and take one of your rings, please. Shift D, and scale you out, and break you out. And I can't, and well, it's, it's, it's above these legs right because the leg joins and then there's this piece attaching so um i actually think that this piece is too high i could be wrong yeah it's close it's kind of like a third a third and twice that <laughs> two thirds so let's try this let's do like this and this and you can be adjusted anyhow my thing is, this thing has to be wider than that. So let's do that. E and S come out. Just a little ways. Give you a bit of thickness. And then uh, we'll bevel those. Get them all. What's going on? Just with one. Some of these I may need two subdivisions. Um, it is looking a little wide, maybe. and stuff it just as a base for those feet and is there that gap there yeah right there so we're gonna make the feet just just real simple well, that's everything I always do real simple even a little bit of a curve but I ain't doing that and there's a little light in there um, so we'll see we'll see what we and it's, now it doesn't go to the top of this part right it's like kind of like that maybe not quite like that something like that is kind of at the border of that what's going on there oh so this one's supposed to come it's supposed to come 
I'm out. Flat and then it angles. That's what I'm missing. I'm missing the flat part. Just out of curiosity, how much do I need? Comes out pretty far. Okay. All right, we're gonna make some adjustments here. Let's get rid of that for now. And let's get rid of that. And let's take this. Scale shift Z. And then let's go back in. And then we'll isolate it and we'll go what? Well, what we done here? Let's get rid of that. Let's scale this out. We don't need that. Well, on the other hand, it might be nice to have it there. I'll think about getting rid of all this internal stuff later. do a very nice job on some of this. That's going to be fine though. Kind of like that. We're doing our own thing today. Tonight. Um, how far in are you going? Oh boy. Let's just, let's just, let's just get going on this. Uh, e and all tests is the way I'm going to do it. And, um, you're going to come down to just below the lip. Okay. Now, what about a bevel on this guy? I'm going to start with that, and uh, my 3D cursor in the middle. Let's, um, let's see if there's anything else. You know what? It's a little bit too wide. Shift D rotate Z 180. Shift D rotate Z 90. Shift D rotate Z 180. Just like that. Maybe I'll put some bolts into this into the floor or so. Like maybe that was how many I had in the first place. Uh, I don't know. 
Uh, let's just start messing with this and seeing what it's supposed to do. Goes up to the top. Maybe I do need that Y there. And where? Quite close. And probably, like, not full cylinder either. Because that's going to stick into that. But we could, we could start with that, though. As we always do. Um, do I even get all of those? Okay, where does it go? It was down in the base of that. in the base of that. Maybe maybe I would just do that. Let's shade smooth that. Let's make this a bit wider again then. okay and the bottom's okay so what if I um, do that and bring a 3d cursor there and take you and do the usual let's uh, there or do I want to stagger them like just I don't know you tell me this looks too wide too thick more designs here too let's get something like this to start it though Let's add that bevel, just to start it off to look a little bit better. 